thank you, Lord. You are going to fulfill Luke 1 and 44. It says when Mary met Elizabeth. Oh, hallelujah. Now the babe in her womb. Thank you. Now death, the baby that she's carrying is what God would have for her to do. Yes, God, thank you. Ha! Shut up! It's been buried. Thank you, Jesus. 
But God says, I'm going to do. You are a type of woman you like to have laughter, but you are now going to be Sarah tonight. The Bible says that Mary, that Sarah, was dead in her womb. She was dead in her womb for over 70 years. Abraham was 100, she was 95. The Bible says that now that when the angels of the law, the representatives of God came to Abraham, and they told Abraham, they said, in due season we shall come again, and you shall have a child. Now, I'm not trying to say you're going to have another child, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking come about on. your birth and of what God will have for you to do. Come on. You hear me? I know false prophet, I know what I'm hearing. Yeah. But the Lord says, the times have come where I'm visiting you now. Thank you. That's the reason why it seems the stuff is out of order. And that's the reason why it seems like you can't understand. He says, I'm causing you to be like Sarah, and you shall do what Sarah did. When they asked Abraham, Abraham, Abraham said, the angels told Abraham, Abraham, is there anything too hard for God? Abraham was the man of faith. But what God needs is a, a wound, a promise, a wound that would, would realize that God is trying to penetrate something that was dead. What you shall do, you literally shall become like Sarah. The Bible said that when Sarah heard of the prophecy, she laughed. All I want you to do is just, I know it's going to be foolish, but the scripture says it takes the foolish thing to confound out of the wise. I want you just to laugh when I tell you to. Don't worry about the folks that's here because they hear it loud too. That's the reason why they walk in dead folks. They church zombies. You hear in church and you bang. And David can't come rescue you in your lonely bar because you just don't know who you are. Right. I'll tell you two on three, I just want you to laugh. She can laugh by herself, but if I was going to get what she's about to get, I'll be laughing with her. They're going to say, this man made us laugh. Yeah, I'm making you laugh because when you laugh, the Bible says when she laughed, her wounds opened up. See, what has been dead, your ignorance has been dead when you laugh, God says, I'm going to open it up. What has been dead in your life that you've been asking God to do when you laugh? If you laugh, the attack of the enemy that's on your life, you also deal with suicide. And you also deal with what people are trying to validate and define you. But that season of your life is over. Don't you worry about your past. Don't you worry about the unknown. Don't worry about what you want to know and you can't find out. Don't you even worry about the ones who don't understand you. Hallelujah. God says if you laugh this night, the season of attack has been on your life for the last six months. Oh God. Thank you. But it's been greater in the last two months. He says if you just laugh, he says, I'm opening up so that the enemy cannot find you. He says, I'm gonna hide you like I did Moses. Thank you. Even to this day, the enemy still trying to smell out the